Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing granny square rectangle. If you want to make other sized rectangles that match up with other size granny squares, all of these details are included in the written pattern over on my website, secretyarnery.com. You'll be able to join up a three round granny square, four round granny square, five round granny square, and the six round granny square. So all of these different measurements for the granny rectangle are included in the written pattern. Today we're going to be making the granny rectangle that matches with a four round granny square with join as you go. Or if you're gonna stitch them together, one more round on each. So a five round granny and you'll do one more round on your rectangle. But all of the instructions for the larger grannies are available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. There is a written pattern with all of these formulas written down, your starting chains to make each size rectangle depending on what size granny you wanna match. And of course, you don't have to match up rectangles to granny squares. You can also match rectangles to rectangles. Just use your rectangles in each spot instead of the squares and build your blanket that way. To make the rectangular granny square, you'll need four different colors of yarn. I'm just using a regular four weight worsted acrylic, whatever colors I have on hand that I like. You can even use little scraps. You don't have to have a really big amount. You'll also need a crochet hook. So with this four weight worsted acrylic, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. If you want your granny squares to be more stiff, you can use a smaller hook. And if you want them more loose and floppy, you can use a larger hook. So let's get started. your first color and we're just going to start by making a slip knot. So make a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain 21. 1, 2, 3, 19, 20, and 21. So there is my chain 21. Now we're going to start into the fourth chain so to count your chains, you don't count what's on your hook. You count these V's underneath your hook. So there is one, two, three. Here is number four. We're just gonna go into that very top loop right there. So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna make two double crochets into the fourth chain from our hook. So two double crochets. There is one and two. So that is gonna be the end of our granny square, this little stitch right here. So chain two for your corner, one and two. Wrap your yarn and into the very next chain right here, we're gonna do three double crochets. So three double crochets into the next chain. There is one, two, and three. So now we're gonna skip two. So skip the next two chains. There is one, here is two. We're gonna go into the third, just that same top loop, and we're gonna do three double crochets into the third chain right there. So three double crochets, one, two, and three. And we're gonna keep doing that all the way along our chain. So skipping two, one, and two, and working into the third with three double crochets. So wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the third chain. One, two, and three. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, skipping two, one and two, and into the third, three double crochets. So wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the third chain. One, two, and three. 
skip one, skip two, and we're going to work in to the third with three double crochets. So there is one, two, and three. So now we have four chains left. That's what we want. We're still going to skip two, one, and two. And into the third, we're going to do our three double crochets, just like normal. We just have one extra chain. So into the second to last chain, or the third chain from our work, three double crochets, one, two, and three. And now we have one chain left. That's where we're going to do the end of our rectangle, the first round. So chain two for that corner, one and two. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into that very last chain. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, so that's for our corner. And now check where we're going to be working into. We're going to start doing a mirror image of what we just did. So ignoring this first chain where we're working into right now, we're going to start in this space right here. So wherever our double crochets start, we are going to do double crochets on this side of our work. So we're going to do double crochets here, 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 and right there. So we're just going to match where our double crochets come from. That's the stitch we are looking for, and we're just going to do a mirror image of what we did on this side. So working into the second chain right here, three double crochets, just into that same space, that same stitch. One, two, and three. And now into the next spot where our double crochets come from, right here, we're going to do the same thing, three double crochets, one, two, and three, and into the next spot, three double crochets, one, two, and three. You can pause the video if I'm going too fast and just get caught up. And now we're going to go in to each of these next spots where our double crochets start, and we're going to do three double crochets into each. So into this first stitch here where our double crochets start, three double crochets, one, two, and three, and into the next three double crochets, one, two, and three, and into the spot where our last side double crochets came from, three double crochets, one, two, and three. Now chain two one and two, and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join right here on the corner. Just so if you pull up that chain, it's going to make it look like a double crochet. So just put your hook in. You want to make sure you have two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And that finishes round one. If you want to see more of my work, check out one of my podcasts. To start round two, turn your work. We want to look for a corner where we have not joined our yarn, so I'm just going to put my hook into that corner right before. Grab your next color yarn, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through that corner space, and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the back of your work, and chain two. One and two.
If you join your yarn in a different way, chain three, this will count as our first double crochet. So I'm just going to hold that tail along the side of my work so I can work over it for a couple stitches, and two more double crochets into this corner space. One, and two. Now jumping over into our next corner, I'm going to hold that tail along the side of, our, of my work so I can work over it, and I also want to jump over, I want to start my double crochets on the other side of that knot. Wrap your yarn and go in after that knot. It'll be easier to hide this way. And make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two, and three more double crochets into the same corner space. You can slide your stitches back if you need some more space. You want your stitches to be laying nice and flat side by side. So three more double crochets into the same corner space. There is two, and there is three. Now into each space along the side in between these three double crochets, we're going to do our three double crochets. So here's our first space right here. Three double crochets right into that space. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And we want to do that for the next three spaces along this side. So each one of these spaces gets three double crochets. There is one, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Just like that. Now we have our corner. Corners always get corners. Corners are three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets all into the same corner space. So there's two, there's three, chain two, one, and two, and three more double crochets into that same corner space. There's two. If you need to get more space for your stitches to lay down nice and flat, just pull those stitches back and that'll give you some more space in that corner. There is three. So jumping straight over to our next corner, we're going to make another corner, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So exactly the same thing in the next corner space. There's one, two, three, chain two, one, and two. Slide those stitches back if you need some more room, and three double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. Now you can pause the video and keep working along. Each one of these spaces gets three double crochets. So exactly the same as we did on the other side. Three double crochets into each space all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. If you're looking for more easy tutorials, check out that playlist. When you get back to where we started, we're just going to finish this corner. So into that corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two, and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Just the top of the chain three. We want to make sure we get two strands of that chain on the top of our hook. So slip stitch to join. Chain one, 
Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes round two. To start round three, turn your work. Look for a corner that you haven't worked into. So I'm just gonna put my hook into this corner right here. Grab your next color of yarn, loop of yarn on your hook, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the side of your work so we can work over it a little bit. And chain two, one and two. Into that same corner space, two double crochets. One and two. And into this space here, the first one along our side or our end, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Corners get a corner, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets all into the same corner space. There is one, two, three, chain two, and three double crochets into that same corner space. And remember, you can slide those stitches back if you need some more space. Here is number two and number three. Three double crochets into each of these spaces along the side. So into the first space, three double crochets, one, two, and three. And now you can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each of these spaces all the way along the side. And I'll meet you when we get to our corner. When we get to our corner space, corners always get corners. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets into that corner space. There's one, two, three, chain two, one and two. Slide those stitches back if you need some more space and three more double crochets all into the same corner spot. There's two and three. Into that space along the end, three double crochets, one, two, and three. Into your corner, three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. Making sure you start after that knot. So after, if your knot is in the same corner mine is. So there is one, two, three double crochets, chain two, one and two and three more double crochets into that same corner space and I'm working over my tail a little bit. That let's make sewing it in later a little bit faster. So there's one, two, and three. And now you can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each of these spaces all the way along your side and I'll meet you when we get to our corner. Into that first corner space where we started, three double crochets, just to finish that corner. One, two, and three. Chain two, one and two. We're gonna slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Right here, we're just gonna slip stitch. So slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. If you wanna keep going with the same color yarn, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So that finishes round three. To start round four, turn your work and look for a corner where you haven't joined your yarn. So for me, that is right over here. 
Grab your next color, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, and drop your tail just holding it along the side of your work. Chain two, one, and two, and two double crochets into that same corner spot. One, and two. Now into each of these spaces along the end, there's two spaces now, so each of those get three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner, we're going to do a corner. Corners are three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two. And three more double crochets into the same corner space. One, two, and three. So now you can pause the video and keep working along. Each of these spaces along the side gets three double crochets. And I'll meet you when we get to our corner. Now into your corner space, we're going to do a corner. Corners are always going to be three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets all into the same corner space. So there's two, here's three double crochets, chain two, one, and two, and three double crochets into the same corner. One, two, and three. Along the side, three double crochets into each space. One, two, three, into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner, it gets a corner. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, and two and three double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. So now pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each of these spaces along the side. And I'll meet you when we get back to our corner. Looking for a fabulous crochet community? Join our Friday live chats every Friday at 5 p.m. in Nairobi. When we get back to our corner, we're just going to finish that corner with three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, one, and two, and slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Right there, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. Making sure you get two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook. One slip stitch and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. no matter what row you're on, this is how you're going to keep going without changing your yarn color. So chain one, and now we're going to do a single crochet to join. So same spot where we would be doing our slip stitch, top of that chain three. We're going to go in and we're going to do one single crochet to join. Just like that. And hold that spot open with your finger and thumb, just to make sure we don't lose our corner space. And chain three. One, two, and three. I'm still holding it open with my thumb and turn your work and two double crochets into that corner space. One 
and two. Now you're going to want to grab a stitch marker and just mark that corner. Just to mark that that is a corner, when you're coming along, it can look just like a side space and then you lose that corner and it can be quite confusing. So if you are new to crochet, go ahead and pop in a stitch marker or a safety pin or a paper clip or even a tie a piece of contrasting yarn on there. That'll mark where we are finished your next round. So then keep working your way around with the same color yarn and finish your corner when you get back to your stitch marker. If you'd like to see more of my work, check out my weekly podcast. That one. <laughs> right there. <laughs>